first time out in the fucking Tucker 2.0 with uh, David Clem. How you doing this year? About the same as every. Yes, sir. Uh, but we're in an upgraded machine here. This is the, uh, what, well, what year is this? A 1990... 1995. 95 was a good year. Vintage nowadays. They really knew what they were doing. With these tuckers, we look at that, we got a plow on this son of a bitch. Huh? You can look right down. The whole goddamn front of this thing's like a sliding glass door or on a house, you know? Except you can't open it. Only a matter of time before she breaks, so she's got the fog gauges in it. Oh yeah. Yeah, she's been outfitted with a Ford cluster. And you know that'll turn into a cluster eventually, but it's uh, kind of hard to see in here. But uh, anyway, here we are, start of a new decade, 2020. And uh, actually, looking out the back, uh, hindsight is also 2020. Even got the uh, these uh, snowmobile jumps out in front of you. You can just go like this. Oh. oh, look out! It's a Jesus. caution! Right. Well, if there's other groomers in front of you and they're all stacking up, nobody knows how to drive. <laughs> yeah, get the fuck out of the way! Yeah. Yeah. Car wipers don't work. They, they had a little trick on this one. You just wrap some electrical tape around them. Does that how it works? Make some ice rate the fuck up. Yeah, that's what holds that ice in. <laughs> Keeps them blades nice and stiff. Really? What do we got here? Tight squeeze. Jeez, someone busted right through this gate. Well, here we are crossing uh, a highway, you know, and uh, can't really see. Uh... But anyway, we're going to cut down this friggin' this bank right here. You just got to bust your way right to it, man. Bust your way into a bank, and then you basically got to take that snow, and you're going to distribute it. Dump your load. Right. Just like the redistribution of wealth. You're just going to take a little bit of wealth from over here, and you're going to spread it over here where there is none. That's the old Obamanomics. That's uh, how that works right there. <laughs> we got a nice stereo up here. And that's, uh, that's what you call vintage. Uh, don't work worth a shit. I mean, we'll turn it right up here. Sounds like that. That speaker's coming in good. Oh, there's the right one. Hey, Dave. Yeah. You wouldn't hold that up there so I could look out the back, would you? Oh, Jesus. Well, hang on. Let me turn off the radio. Hold that up there. Right and, uh, and yeah, well. Yeah, because yeah, you're going to have your air freshener and yeah. you, what are you going to hang an air freshener on if you don't have a rear view mirror? I mean, we this don't even... That's good right there. You just hold that right there yeah. for the rest of the ride. Not a problem. Do I got it angled right? Can you see? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So what we're doing is we're, we're taking the snow from the outside and we're putting it right down in the center. We're laying a nice fucking carpet tonight, I tell you what. And uh, this plow on the front of this thing is a lot better. Are we still good with the mirror? Can oh, yeah. you still Go see all right? Yeah, keep yep. holding it. Yep. yep. So basically this is gonna make all the difference. Uh yeah. Well it's a good thing everything's functional anyway. Oh yeah. Jesus, that was a big wow. turn the electrical tape wipers on here. Yeah, clear that shit out of the way. It'll be a while getting to our destination tonight. Yeah, why is that? Not exactly moving at the speed of molasses here. Oh. Well, I, you know, them Corinth guys that used to own this, uh, they knew how to keep the miles down on the machine. Uh, that really raised the value. It really did, you know. So I'm thinking instead of, uh, since it fell off over there, it's kind of in your way anyway. So yep. we'll, we'll mount it right here. Right here on this side. And you got all that fucking real estate there to see out of. And then you got the mirror right here. That's, that's going to be a lot better, isn't it, Clem? Oh yeah, Christ, yeah. Yeah, oh fuck yeah. And then, uh, you know, if you're bringing your old... Your hair cut and clip your nails in that goddamn thing. Oh fucking right, and then if you you got your old lady with you, she can, uh, you know, check her teeth or whatever she's got to do. Uh, you know, because there's no sun visors. So you got to need that anyway, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
Fuck yeah. yeah. What, what do we got here? I turn on the light so we can see. It's a fine roll of paper towels. They, uh, this was included in the sale price. Oh. Oh, yep. and I see. And yep. So uh, if you fluff it up like that, it yep. absorbs more. I, I, I couldn't tell you what's been nibbling on that right there. It's probably some sort of rodent or, uh, you know, maybe an ermine or something like that. Yep. Them ermines, you know, they really get after maybe it. Maybe they uh, wiped up with this after they uh, took a shower with this uh, liquid air freshener. That's probably what, well, and the only reason we actually put this fan in here is uh, because it smells like, Smells piss and shit, uh, you know, the ventilation system. So you, you got your Glade plug in here, or whatever the hell it, you call it, and then the fan blows all the sweet nectar out of that friggin' freshener and just blows it right, right around the cab and makes this whole place smell yep. real nice. And uh, that's why we got to get the rear view mirror back up there too, because uh, that's also got an air freshener hanging from it. Now this is a really nice looking trail coming right along. Got half a scoop there. The headlight out over here. Took a little pause for the cars there. Yeah, we got uh, Padiddle. But, ain't she a fucking weapon? Just a roll in the coal. The drag queen. Oh, yeah. What do you got there, Clem? Oh, Oval Master. Jesus, that's the MBP 1808 model. You know, them 1808s are they're the goddamn big and they go, Jesus Christ, I tell you what, right now. Turn the rubber right off this thing. Well, you see, we got the turf tires. That way, if you're going across your lawn, we ain't got a problem. Yeah, it is quite a machine. Jesus, ain't that a goddamn thing of beauty right there? All right, well, what do you think, Clem? We probably ought to get back into her, huh? Let's uh, give you a little inside tour here. Now look at this friggin' machine here. Look at that doll handle. Ain't she nice, huh? What about that seat cover there? Well, it's a genuine uh, Tracy Kane uh, number nine car there. Did he sign that? That's a signature, yeah. isn't it? Oh yeah, this is worth money in here. It's really hard to sign uh, fabric like that, but he did a good job. Well, we are entering tunnel vision again. <laughs> yeah, nobody likes a quitters. You got to just keep going with her. Fucking, why don't you keep painting some shit? Nobody likes a quitter. Now, what's this gentleman? Oh, well, wait a minute. I spotted it. This is on every... This is on every bridge, tunnel that you ever come to. 420. Uh, I mean, what the fuck's going on here anyway? Who is that? What's that, a fucking tea kettle? I mean, it's basically a kettle calling the pot black or whatever. I, I don't know what the hell you got going on there, but... How about this guy over here? That must be the 420 guy. Fucking huge cock on him. Oh yeah, Jesus Christ. Yes sir. We gotta get out of here, Clem. Jesus, don't she go. What do we got here? This is, uh, oh, this is just warning us that uh, there's something ahead. Yeah, that's we, it. we don't know what it is, but it's ahead. Oh, oh. Caution, log in the head, okay. Oh, all right. Jesus, I wouldn't want to log in the head. You, 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 you ever have a log oh, in the head? Well, I guess it's better than having a turtle head. Well, <laughs> either way, it's poking out, I guess. Jesus Christ. Well, here we are at a, a road crossing here, and uh, this, uh, well, this trail goes right across this road. This is actually an old farm road. Uh, I think they actually got it posted. It says for farm use only. But, uh, well, actually, you know what, Clem? I, I actually knew a girl that was, uh, sh she was for farm use only, too. And, uh, Jesus, couldn't she milk a bull? I tell you what. And I'm talking, I mean, Christ, she'd freaking produce gallons and gallons. And, uh, you know, you'd pretty much, you'd have to shut off the cow.
you know, after a while, Christ, the goddamn thing would be dehydrated and fucking fade away to nothing, but Jesus Christ, didn't she go good, though? You know, a good farm use girl. Hard work, though. Oh, Jesus. Seven days a week. Uh, you know, and everything was, uh, everything she did was basically handmade, you know, it was, she was a farm use only, yeah. Ain't we friggin' folding the carpet right in on the fucking center of the trail tonight? Excuse, excuse my language. I'm just getting right fucking wretched. Not, it's uncalled. Jeez, you see them deer tracks right there? Or could have been dog tracks or coyote tracks or, you know what it was? Probably an ermine. Looks like the uh, skitter operator. Oh, he's got small feet? Yeah, he's, he's got uh, peg legs probably. That's the guy, Peg Leg Johnson. He's got no feet. Oh yeah, go hit in the head by a log a time or two. Jesus, can't he friggin' run a skitter though? Well, you got him in the feet a couple times there and uh, whittled him down. Oh yeah, yeah. Fetus. Bruh. I don't know if you notice all these airmen tracks. I mean, they're all over the place. Uh, you know, there's one there and there's up ahead there. They're, they're having a good year, but the ermine are everywhere. Now where, where are the ermine from? Yeah, German ermines are pretty common. Uh, you know, they, I think they were illegally introduced. Uh, just to like, German. Right, just like just like pike and all the good, you know, coyotes and all the in, in, invasive species there. Yeah, uh, German ermine, they, they really... Uh, you know, they fuck shit up. Yeah, look at that one. Now, no, keep going there. Now, look at this one. Now, that airman obviously uh, has a gigantic penis. And that's pretty much, uh, that's a trail they're going to leave right there. They, they call that a snail trail. Uh, you know, he was probably trotting, so it was just kind of dipping. He was probably just, you know, just kind of giving the tip, basically. But uh, he was making his way over to the... Uh, yeah. You know, to the wood grove there, but no, I'm actually pretty sure um, them airmen. Uh, you know, they actually originated in Sherman. You know, Sherman, Maine. Yes, sir. Yeah, most of them airmen are from Sherman. But the ancestors are uh, German. Right. Yeah, and that, that's where the settlers come from. Uh, the yeah. Sherman. They're actually German. The Sherman, and they made airmen. So came over and uh, had a. They even got their own goddamn Thanksgiving. Yeah, well, they were reproducing pretty hard. They were actually spermin, so... <laughs> yeah, well, that's, so that that's, means the that's German how... ermine from Sherman is spermin. Right, that's the only way they uh, reproduce, you know. Uh, they gotta be spermin, you know, so... Yeah, you got you got ermine that are actually German from Sherman, and they are spermin all over the goddamn place, you know. That's... Some of them are even squirmin. Jesus, well... You know, they, they either take it or they don't. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, clear that shit off there, would you? Yeah. Ain't this a nice trail tonight? Yes, sir. There yeah, by Jesus. All right. Well, we're just about done here tonight, but, uh, you know, good to do another video, another year. Uh, you know. It's going to be a good year. Oh, yeah. Forward sight is 2020. Uh, up here from Standish for the winter here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You all have a good one. We'll see ya.